Colorado High School Activities Association Baseball is on Morgan County's B106 and B106.com this afternoon. From Roosevelt High School, it's a Tri-Valley League clash as the four Morgan Mustangs take on the Roosevelt Rough Riders. I'm John Beltran, and Mustangs go into this game off a second-place finish in the Hampton Inn Classic in La Junta. Three and four overall. They were two and one in the tournament. Roosevelt at six and one. They are ranked third in Class 4A. Mustangs at 0-2 in league play. Both losses to Windsor. Roosevelt at 1-1, defeating Holy Family here 5-4 in eight innings in Johnstown and losing 11-1 at Holy Family. All right, the bead diggers. <laughs> bead diggers are playing right now on 10-10 as well as KSIR.com. I mentioned that because we have two ranked teams that they're playing. Brush playing Eaton, ranked 5th in 3A. And again, Fort Morgan taking on Roosevelt, 3rd in 4A. Mustang lineup more or less remains the same for head coach Josh Langford. Batting first is the center fielder, J.P. Hamer. The shortstop, Jacob Ortega, hits second. Second baseman, Isaac Linker, bats third. The cleanup hitter is the right fielder, Alex Ortega. Connor Fajardo, the catcher, at fifth. Austin Apple, the third baseman, bats sixth. Nick Norris, the first baseman, at seventh. The D.H. is Sam Shaver. And Dylan Woods, the left fielder, bats ninth. Rocco Salvatore at first. Tage Long at second for Roosevelt. The third baseman is Braden Sia. Sammy Grimm at short. Opening pitch for the left-hander Dominic Puccino is brought to you by Ingmeyer Phillips Insurance. In Brush and Fort Morgan, it's outside to Hamer. Nick Wallen left. Dylan Poley in center. The right fielder Jay McCoy out of the stretch with the bases empty and a fastball is in there for a strike. One ball and one strike. Tanner Shuffler is behind the plate. But one and one here to J.P. Hamer, line foul down the third base side. Hamer hitting 250 going into this game. Against the left-hander here, Dominic Puccino, also the starting center for the basketball team, out of the stretch. And the one-two, and the breaking ball stays high. Two balls and two strikes. Very balanced Tri-Valley League. But the Mustangs are in, but they're playing the tough opponents to begin the year here in Windsor and Roosevelt. Up and away with a fastball. Ball three, strike two. Here to J.P. Hamer. A senior for Fort Morgan, the stretch, laying down the sign of Shuffer. 3-2, swing and a miss and a fastball, jammed him. And there's one down, tied him up on that inside fastball. And that'll bring up Jacob Ortega. Jacob Ortega, a junior, batting 3.33. He's driven in seven. Pacino with a nice fastball and a breaking ball that he's demonstrated here in the early going. And the pitch. That's a fastball for a strike on the outer half at the thigh level. It's 0-1. On deck is Isaac Linker. Just underway a few minutes early here in Johnstown. Fastball's extremely high. Shuffler had to stand to catch that one. Got it one ball and one strike. Jacob Ortega for the right side against a southpaw. Puccino, the pitch. Swung on and foul straight back. You can follow us on Twitter at B106. Inning by inning updates of this game and all the games that we broadcast for Fort Morgan Mustang Sports. One ball and two strikes, Puccino the lefty. Comes home, swung on, popped up, and out of play off to the right. On a late swing and a fastball, letter high. Count is at one and two. Nice crowd settling in on the Roosevelt side. Mustangs on the first base side here in Johnstown. 350 straight away. 3.15 down the right field line. Breaking ball swung on and missed. Ortega read that extremely late. He thought it was a fastball, then he had to take a swing. That's an excellent curveball. Two strikeouts to begin the game. 3.20 down the left field line. Here's Isaac Linker. Nice start to his season. Hitting 4.35. 
He's driven in nine runs to lead the Mustangs, but nobody on base right now. Puccino delivers right there on the outside corner. Thigh high for a strike with a fastball. No balls and one strike to Isaac Linker. Hitting with a slightly closed stance. That front foot closer to the plate than a back foot. Swing and a miss. That fastball was above the letters and Linker went fishing. That would have been ball one. Now down in the count at 0-2. They've got to really read this pitcher. Pochino's dominated the first two Mustangs. The pitch swing and a miss. He had no shot at that one again. Went after ball number two. And instead he strikes out on three pitches. And striking out the side in order is Dominic Puccino. Let's head to the bottom of the first inning in Johnstown. The Mustangs do not score. And Roosevelt is coming to bat on Morgan County's B106 and B106.com. Let's head to the bottom of the first inning. Dominic Puccino dominated the Mustangs, striking out Hamer, Jacob Ortega, and Isaac Linker. Now Nick Castaneda, the right-hander, will face the following lineup for Roosevelt, batting first. Is the center fielder Dylan Poley, Sammy Grimm, the shortstop at second. The catcher bats third, that's Tanner Shuffler. Dominic Puccino, the pitcher, hits fourth. The third baseman, Braden Saya, hits fifth. Brady Blando, the designated hitter, bats sixth. Second baseman, Tage Long, hits seventh. At first, Rocco Salvatore bats eighth. And Nick Wall, the left fielder, bats ninth. The Mustangs defensively, Nick Norris at first, Isaac Linker at second. Austin Apples at third. The shortstop is Jacob Ortega. Dylan Woods in left, J.P. Hamer in center. The right fielder is Alex Ortega. Behind the plate, Connor Fajardo. And fellow senior Nick Castaneda on the hill. And the right-hander comes home. And a changeup is in there for a strike. Looked like he took something off it here to Dylan Poley. Who's batting 333. Very potent lineup for Roosevelt. Fastball is outside. Count levels at one ball and one strike. Castaneda has got a live arm. He's got a good, strong arm, and this is a big start for him. And the 1-1 pitch. Fastball is lined towards right center field. That is a base hit in the gap. It's going to go all the way to the green picket fence. And to second is Poli with a leadoff double here in the bottom of the first inning on a fastball that was above the letters. He actually swung at a ball. Number three. Sammy Grimm. Here's Sammy Grimm hitting 450. Batting from the left side against the right-handed pitching Nick Castaneda. And that's what Roosevelt can do to you really quickly. The stretch. Nick looks back. And the offering. Fastball is up and away. One ball and no strikes. Here to Sammy Grimm. In the bottom of the first inning. Gorgeous day here in Roosevelt. Temperature in the 50s. But not too many clouds in the sky. Where else are they going to be? 1-0. Took something off it. Must have been a little bit up and away. Looked pretty good from here. Two balls and no strikes. Castaneda. Sw uh, swung on and a base hit into center field right down the middle on that pitch. Hamer's going to throw it home and going to second there is Grimm as the throw goes all the way through. The Mustangs missed the cutoff. Second and third off the base hit from Grimm. Well, that's a defensive mistake there. No error, but the throw was a little bit high and not cut off. Hamer probably thought he was going to try to score, but really... It was hit so hard that Poli held up at third. Here's Tanner Shuffler hitting 250. Righty against righty. So a double and a single to begin the bottom of the first inning. And the pitch. And the breaking ball is high. And inside, one ball and no strikes. Fort Morgan will face Roosevelt in two weeks in Fort Morgan. They've got two more games this week on the road against Frederick on Thursday. At home against Frederick Friday, the pitch. Breaking ball swung on and popped down the right field line. First baseman Norris is out. He makes the catch along the line about a step into the grass. And there's one down. The runners remain at third and second. Excellent pitch there by Nick the Riders, Castaneda. Dominic Pacino. Here's the left-handed hitting Dominic Pacino. So they go righty-lefty, righty-lefty in this Roosevelt lineup. Mustang defense is playing back to concede the run. Castaneda out of the stretch with one down and the pitch swung on and fouled off to the left and out of play. No balls and one strike. 
B&B Appliance can help you with all of your appliance needs. Stop in and see what they can do for you. On Ensign Street in Fort Morgan, that's B&B Appliance. No balls in one strike. And the offering swung on and chopped to the right side. The first baseman, Norris, has it. He'll step on the bag. Scoring is Poley. To third is Grimm. It's an RBI ground out for Dominic Puccino. Roosevelt leads 1-0 here in the bottom of the first inning. for the Riders, number one, Braden Sia. If they hold them to one run, that's a victory. Considering the start that Roosevelt had with two base hits. Braden Sia. Right-handed hitter. And the pitch. Fastball grounded for a base hit into left field. To the left of the diving Austin Apple. Sammy Grimm scores. Roosevelt leads 2 to nothing. Saya has driven in six runs on the year. He came into the game batting 476. For the Riders, number 28, Brady Blondo. It's a 2 to nothing lead here for Roosevelt. Man, what a lineup. Brady Blando for the left side. I mean, you don't have that in the majors. They've gone righty-lefty, righty-lefty, righty-lefty. Nick Castaneda delivers. And the pitch is away. Took something off at one ball and no strikes. He hasn't thrown that many pitches. This is his sixth hitter, and he's thrown just 12 pitches. Seven for strikes. Saya with a two-and-a-half step lead in the pitch. And that is a strike. It almost looked like the same location as the previous pitch on the outside corner. And the count levels at one ball and one strike. Castaneda throws to first, back in diving as Saya. So three hits in this bottom of the first inning. The Mustangs are going to have to figure something out against the hard-throwing left-hander Dominic Puccino. Blando on top of the plate. I mean, he couldn't get any closer. And that is taken away with a breaking ball. Two and one. Yeah, if you throw something inside, I don't know how he can make contact. He's so close to the plate. But he's still in the batter's box. Two and one. Runner goes. And that's taken for a ball. The throw to second is going to be late. An excellent jump there by Braden Saya. No chance for Fajardo to throw him out. So now it's three and one with Tej Long on deck. And the Rough Riders threatening for another run in the bottom of the first inning. Three balls and one strike. And the offering swung on, grounded right side. Two hopper off of Nick Norris. He plays it. He tosses the first to Castaneda covering. And an excellent play to stay with the baseball by Norris. He makes all three plays. Castaneda gets over there. And it's a 3-1 put out here to end the bottom of the first inning. Two runs on three hits, no errors. And one man left. Let's head to the second in Johnstown. Roosevelt 2 and the Mustangs nothing on B106 and B106.com. Let's move to the second inning in Johnstown. Roosevelt 2, Fort Morgan nothing. RBI ground out by Dominic Puccino. A single scoring a run by Braden Saya. Fastball is down and away. Puccino, I understand, is their number one. So Fort Morgan is seeing Roosevelt's best here. A junior. Also the starting center. On the basketball team, the pitch, swing, and a miss. He's, I believe he measures at 6'6". Six, six. One with a fastball tying up Ortega. One ball and one strike. Here to the 273 hitter for Fort Morgan. The pitch, fastball is high. It's a sneaky fastball because it kind of slings it there. It's an overhand delivery, but it shoots out of his hand, and before you know it, it's right on top of the plate. 2-1. Swung on and pop found out of play behind the backstop and the count goes to 2-2. Two and two. Roosevelt had three hits in the opening frame. A double and two singles. And now Alex Ortega. Two balls and two strikes. The pitch. Fastball is up and away. Popping the glove of Tanner Shuffler. 3-2. To the leadoff hitter for Fort Morgan in the second inning. Out of the stretch, Puccino delivers. Swung on and fouled to the screen on a fastball. Tried to tie him up. But Ortega got a piece of it. Engineering and consulting services for all of your projects. Western Engineering Consultants. Strong commitment 
to their clients' needs, sets them apart. Get your project started the right way. Western Engineering Consultants, the pitch, swung on and lifted foul, and out of play off to the third base side with Saya giving chase. I'm telling you, he's got a devastating fastball that ties up right-handed hitters. And Ortega was ready with that bat out in front. But he's also got a good curveball. And Puccino struck out Jacob Ortega on that pitch. 3-2. There's the breaking ball. Swung on, grounded a short three-hopper. Charging, side-arming the first for the out is Sammy Grimm. There's one down here in the second. One down for Connor Fajardo. The senior catcher for Fort Morgan batting 222. Now hitting out of the five seven. hole. Fajardo. Well, that's already a, a little bit of a leap. Making contact in this inning because Mustang hitters struggled in that first inning. Swag and a miss through the fastball right by him down the middle belt high. No balls and one strike. Pacino with a two to one strike to ball ratio here in the early going. Again, he stretches with the bases empty. And the 0 1 down and away. Count levels at one ball and one strike. Two to nothing, Roosevelt in the top of the second inning in this game in Johnstown. And the offering fastball is high. And if you can just work up that pitch count, that's the key. Puccino didn't throw too many pitches in the opening inning. However, when you strike out hitters, that does get the pitch count up. But you need base runners as well. 25 pitches so far. 2-1. Swing and a miss. Fastball down the middle. Knee level. And it's 2-2. Two and two. Mustangs, they've got to start those bats even earlier. Ball two, strike two. Tanner Shuffler gets a sign from the dugout. Roosevelt's head coaches. Jared Cronquist, the pitch, swung on and popped foul out of play off to the right. Shorten up that swing to stay alive. Count remains at two and two. This is the type of pitching that will make you a better team. I mean, Fort Morgan found that out over the weekend, and they faced a dominant right-hander, Caleb Padilla, against, uh, for University. And the pitch, fastball high, and it's now three and two to Fajardo. And they eventually got to Padilla and got him out of the game, I believe, in the fourth or fifth inning in a 7-5 to loss in that championship game of the Hampton Inn Classic to University. It'll be a payoff pitch to Fajardo. Swing and a miss and a fastball away. That would have been ball four well out of the zone. But he went fishing. Strikeout number four for Dominic Puccino. And two down in the second inning. Yeah, went with straight heat, but it was well off the plate. I think Connor thought that that was around the corner, but it was a backhanded catch there by Shuffler, and that fastball's upstairs. One ball and no strikes. Austin Apple had a slow start to his season, but has hit the ball better of late at 250. That's up and away. Took something off of that one. Two balls and no strikes. With two down and the bases empty in the second. I'm John Beltran in Johnstown, 2 to nothing. Roosevelt, the offering. Swing and a miss. Fastball down the middle, belt high. Ball two, strike one to Austin Apple, the senior third baseman for Fort Morgan. The pitch, swing and a miss. That one was on the outer half. Belt high, and it's 2-2. Two and two. The stretch. And the pitch. Swung on. Lined one hopper to the shortstop. Grimm to his left. Fires to first for the out. Apple was out by about seven steps. That's how hard that baseball was hit. He made excellent contact. But it's another 1-2-3 inning for Dominic Puccino. An inning and a half in the books. The score, Roosevelt 2. Fort Morgan nothing. This is Morgan County's B106 and B106.com. Let's move to the bottom of the second inning in Johnstown. Roosevelt 2, Fort Morgan nothing. Nick Castaneda, the right-hander for Fort Morgan, faces Tage Long, hitting for the right side, and the breaking ball's a strike. Excellent pitch on the inside corner at the knees. It's 0-1. Long is batting 176 out of the seven hole here. The pitch swung on and popped up on the right side. This is going to be Nick Norris again in foul territory. First base coaching box makes the catch. And there's one out. 
One down in the bottom of the second inning for sophomore Rocco Salvatore. Now batting first baseman number 10, Rocco Salvatore. This is the first time of the game for Roosevelt we've seen back-to-back -back right handed hitters. We saw righty, lefty, righty, lefty, righty, lefty in the first. Yeah, I've seen this kid play for a while. He played against my son, who's also a sophomore. Breaking ball swung on and lifted into left center field. Make it right center, excuse me, to his left. J.P. Hamer makes the catch. And again, everything hit on the right side for the out. Hamer flags it down, two down on only three pitches here. Now batting left field. And the bottom of the second. Nick Wall. Nick Wall will now bat. Another right-handed hitter out of the nine hole now. The pitch. And that is on the outside corner for a strike. Thigh high. It's 0-1. Wall hitting 235. Salvatore hitting 111 going into his at bat. Castaneda looking to make it a quick inning. Breaking balls a beauty. Down the middle at the knees. Late break on that one. No balls and two strikes. I think he's got his rhythm after the two early hits. And three in the first. And the 0-2. Swung on and chopped foul right behind the plate on a breaking ball. Count remains at 0-2. To Nick Wall. If the Mustangs can just stay in the game with pitching and defense and figure out a way to get to Puccino, who's retired the first six, it could get interesting. The pitch. Fastball is upstairs. When it comes to experience, Buildings by Design is the best in the business. Quality, commitment, and experience makes Buildings by Design the only choice when it comes to your next project. And the 1-2. Swing and a miss and a fastball. Wall strikes out a 1-2-3 inning here for Nick Castaneda. Two complete. It's Roosevelt 2, Fort Morgan nothing on B106 and B106.com. All right, let's head to the third inning. Nick Norris stands in for Fort Morgan. Teaming up our sound engineers and producers today with Eric Curtis and Alicia Alton. Swinging a miss and a fastball down the middle. Again, bringing major here is Puccino. No balls and one strike. Norris's last at bat was a home run against Coy Jorgensen of University. A 7-5 loss. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Fastball up and in letter high. It's hard to catch up to that high heat. Norris hitting 300. He's caught fire of late, but down in an 0-2 hole. And the offering up and in with a fastball. Pitch number 37 thrown by Puccino. One ball and two strikes. Fort Morgan is still looking for their first base runner. Out of the stretch in the pitch. That is right there down the middle at the knees with a fastball. It froze Norris. Strikeout number five. For Dominic Puccino, one down in the third. 13, Sam Shaver. Sam Shaver, a junior, hitting 286. He's the DH today for Castaneda. Got to start early, the pitch. That's right there. Belt high, down the middle with a fastball. Strike one. 26 strikes, 13 balls for Dominic Puccino. And the offering. Fastball is up and in. Count levels at one and one. Fill up your cooler, gas up your car. Stubs, gas, and oil. Lots of great food there as well. Easy and convenient. The only stop on your way to the big game. One ball and one strike. And the pitch. Swung on and popped foul. Out of play behind the screen. One ball and two strikes. Man, this guy just gets ahead and stays ahead. Tough to hit. As evidenced by five strikeouts. Only two balls put in play. Both to the shortstop, Sammy Grimm. And the pitch swung on and hits weakly to the second baseman. Charging as long. He sidearms to first for the out. Shaver out by a step and a half. And there's two down in the third. It jammed him, but at least he put it in play. Here's Dylan Woods. Dylan hitting 111. Yeah, I think Fort Morgan, they'll have a lot more success second time around. Again, it's a sneaky fastball. It's not like he's cranking the arm back. Swung on, grounded a third. A big hop there for Brayden Saya. Fires across the diamond. And Dylan Woods is out on one pitch. One, two, three for the third straight inning for Dominic Puccino. We head to the bottom of the third in one minute. It's Roosevelt two. The Mustangs nothing on B106 and B106.com.
Tonight has thrown just 24 pitches, so he's been pretty efficient. And Roosevelt's been very aggressive. Castaneda had a perfect second inning. Here's the wine of the pitch, and the breaking ball is in the dirt. At one ball and no strikes. And the offering. Swung on, grounded left side, the shortstop. Ortega's got it. He fires to first for the out. And Poli is the first out of inning number three. Here's Sammy Grimm. That, of course, would be the bottom portion. Number three, Sammy Grimm. Grimm singled and scored in the first as well. Roosevelt got an RBI ground out from Dominic Puccino. And they also got an RBI single from Braden Saya. The offering swung on and lifted into the left center field gap. Long run for Hamer. It's going to drop for a base hit. Grimm around first, headed for second to throw. And Linker's going to apply the tag. And out by a mile is Sammy Grimm. I'm not sure what he was thinking there. There was no shot. I mean, Linker was waiting for him. It'll be a base hit. And eliminated 8-4 to four at second base is Sammy Grimm. Number seven, Tanner Shuffler. Yeah, I think he tried to catch Fort Morgan napping, but Hamer was not napping at all. He made that play aggressively. Tanner Shuffler steps in with two down and the base is empty in the bottom of the third inning. Castaneda had retired six in a row. The base came loose over at second. And Jacob Ortega asking for help. Yeah, it's completely out uh, of its holder, so to speak. Two to nothing, Roosevelt here in the bottom of the third inning. That's about the only thing that slowed down this quick-moving game. Mobile banking on the go makes banking easier for you when you're on the go at Equitable Savings and Loan. Roosevelt going for their seventh win of the year. The Mustangs at three and four, but, I mean, their schedule's been really tough. Windsor, of course, is a 5A school playing this 4A schedule. La Junta, Sterling, and University where there are three opponents in La Junta, and all teams, all those three are ranked in 3A, and the Mustangs beat two of them and lost to 7-0 University, 7-5. The only non-ranked teams Fort Morgan has played are Vista Peak, not a bad team. They beat them 3-2 in Brush, which was an 11-6 loss to begin the year, but Brush is barely outside the top 10 in 3A as they reapply that base. It looks like it's completely in now. So Castaneda to face the number three hitter Shuffler with two outs and the bases empty here in the bottom of the third inning. And Roosevelt up by a pair. Both runs came in the first. Righty against righty. And stepping in now is Shuffler after the brief delay. And Castaneda delivers. And the breaking ball's in the dirt. One ball and no strikes. Yeah, I'm kind of dressed like it's about 30 degrees here, but I'm not taking chances. I've been too stupid throughout my life and ignorant. Not wearing enough clothing. And then driving home like I was caught in an igloo. Castaneda rubs up that baseball. Gets a sign here from Connor Fajardo and the 1-0. Down and away with a heater. Two balls and no strikes. Yeah, that little delay makes it a lot tougher on the pitcher than the hitter. And we can tell right now with Castaneda. And the 2-0. Breaking ball grounded a third. Apple tried to backhand it off his glove into shallow left field. And... It it's an error on Apple allowing Shuffler to reach. First error committed by either side. Yeah, let that ball play him a little bit too much. We'll have a courtesy runner for Roosevelt as well. That'll be Traver Hess over at first base, but again... An error has extended the inning here for Roosevelt. Pacino grounded out, driving in a run. And the pitch. Fastball is up and away. One ball and no strikes. 
The Mustangs have been retired in order in three consecutive innings. The offering swung on line, base hit into left center field. Hamer coming in quickly, getting the ball in. Not necessarily a force play, but not far from it at second base. And that is base hit number four for Roosevelt. Pacino's now making five, I should say. Pacino at one for two. Another courtesy runner at first. That's going to be Tyler Crook. Right inside, had that base hit into left field to drive in the second run. Two on and two out. Castaneda delivers. Breaking ball is up and in. Boy, you want to get this out. Keep it at a 2 nothing game. That's why you have to play clean defense against the third-ranked team here in 4A. The inning has been extended because of a miscue. Looking back. And a 1-0. Swung on line off the end of the bat. Foul. Down the right field side. Down the right side. It's 1-1. One and one. Castaneda might have went with a little bit of an off-speed pitch there. Yeah, that was actually the second hit of the inning. Grimm had a base hit, tried to stretch it into a double. He was cut down at second. One ball, one strike, two down, two on. Hess at second, Crook at first. It's a 2-0 lead for the Rough Riders. And the offering. And that ball hit him. A breaking ball hit him on the left leg. Maybe around the ankle. And the bases are loaded for Roosevelt. And here is Brady Blando. Now batting DH, number 28, Brady Blondo. So Blondo from the left side now steps in. And this is a critical juncture of the game. With Pacino throwing the way he is, you got to get this guy out. And the offering. And that ball hit him. Fastball right around the right leg. Two consecutive pitches. And here comes Josh Lang for the run scores. It is an RBI there for Blando. It's three to nothing. This all began with a two-out error by the third baseman Apple. A base hit and back-to-back -back hit by pitches. Roosevelt's got a three-nothing lead. Yeah, Langford just trying to compose his pitcher right now. Tage Long popped out to the first baseman, Norris. He does hope here that Castaneda is aggressive and comes after this particular hitter. Second baseman, number five, Tage Long. You hit one hitter, that's one, but he stayed aggressive, but then hit another batter. Let's see if he goes with a straight fastball just to get that confidence going the pitch. Swung on in line towards right center field. Hamer to his left, and he reaches out and makes the running catch in the gap. That would have been a couple of runs scoring, but Hamer was able to chase it down in the gap, and that ends a further threat here for Roosevelt. They do score a run, and they do it on two hits. There was a Mustang error, and the bases were left loaded. We have played three in Johnstown. Roosevelt three, Fort Morgan nothing on Morgan County's B-106. And B106.com. J.P. Hamer steps in to begin the fourth inning for the Mustangs, trailing Roosevelt and Johnstown 3 to nothing. Two runs in the first and one in the third. Dominic Puccino struck out five Mustangs the first time around, including the first three in Hamer. Jacob Ortega and Isaac Linker out of the stretch of the pitch. Fastball down the middle for a strike just above the knees to J.P. Hamer. Who just made a very nice play in the gap. If not, it would be 5 to nothing at this point. That was an unearned run allowed by Castaneda in the third. The offering and the breaking ball is outside. One ball and one strike. To the center fielder for the Mustangs. The pitch swung on, lined, and a dive by Grimm. A base hit into left center field. And that's the first hit for the Mustangs. And Hamer adjusted from his first at bat. And he's the first Mustang to reach base. And it happens at the top of the fourth inning. 
And Jacob Ortega will now step in for Fort Morgan. Bank of Colorado is the only bank dedicated to help you make the most of living here. And the pitch. Fastball is upstairs. Not just a bank in Colorado. Their bank of Colorado. Proud support. And a proud supporter, I should say, of local sports and academics. One ball and no strikes. Pacino, the lefty, delivers. Very high again. 2-0 to Ortega. Isaac Linker waits to hit next. All Isaac has to do is just not swing at the pitch as he swung the first time at the plate. He should be all right. 2-0 runner goes. That's taken for a strike. Throw to second to slide by Hamer. It's a stolen base. He got a great jump. That was a strong throw there by Shuffler. The tag applied by Grimm, but Hamer was in there. I mean, he could not have done anything better in reference to the Roosevelt catcher, but Hamer was that much better. Two and one here to Ortega. So the Mustangs not only have a base runner, they have a threat going in the top of the fourth inning, down three to nothing in Johnstown. And the pitch. Fastball is very high. Three and one. When you're that successful the first time around, you know that hitters are going to be ready for their next plate appearance. Ortega with the open stance at three and one. The pitch, that's high. It's a walk to Jacob Ortega, and the Mustangs have the first two on in the top of the fourth inning. Isaac Linker. And here is Isaac Linker, struck out on three pitches his first time up. Yeah, and he went chasing. He wants something juicy right down the middle. The pitch. And that is taken for a strike just above belt level. No balls in one strike, but it's, that's a good take. Especially since Puccino just walked a hitter. Hamer at second, Ortega at first. Nobody out here in the fourth. And the offering swung on and fouled off to the right with a low fastball. It is 0-2. Oh, this is the count that Lenker was in his first time up. Looking to protect here against the left-hander, Puccino. 0-2. Oh, Swung on, chop foul up the third base side. That got way too much of the plate. Puccino got a major break there. He got a big break because if Lenker squares that up, that could have gone a long way, but he just fouled it off up the third base side. No balls, two strikes. Linker digs back in. And the pitch. Fastball is upstairs. That's the pitch he swung at above the letters when he struck out in the first. But this time he lays off. One and two. Pacino, the pitcher, has an RBI for Roosevelt. Laying down the sign is Shuffler. And the offering. And that's in the dirt. Hamer goes to third. And to second is the trail runner, Ortega. Double steal. Very aggressive was Josh Langford there. Uh, and you've got to be careful when you're that aggressive. I've seen plays like that that you line out, it turns into a triple play. It's a 2-2 pitch to Linker. Here it is. Swung on and fouled off and out of play off to the right. Fort Morgan trying to get right back into this game. They're only down three in the fourth inning. First three innings went by very quickly. No lights on this field. And the pitch. Breaking ball called strike three. It froze Linker. Second time he struck out. Six strikeout for Puccino. And there's one down over the heart of the plate was that breaking ball. Alex Ortega. And he set up Linker after all those fastballs. Here's Alex Ortega who grounded a short to begin the second inning. At third is Hamer, Jacob Ortega at second the offering. Fastball is up and away. One ball and no strikes. Puccino, I think, wanted that pitch, but it was definitely a little bit out of the zone. The left-hander looks in. The offering, down and in. That nearly clipped Ortega around the ankles, but 
or on the ankles, but it got just inside of that left ankle, 2-0. and Now it's pitch number 60. So if anything, regardless of what the Mustangs do on the scoreboard in this inning, they're extending Puccino's pitch count. Two balls and no strikes. With one down in the top of the fourth, Roosevelt three, Fort Morgan nothing. At the belt and the offering. Fastball is high. Count is at 3-0. and oh. And on deck is Fajardo. 3-0 pitch. Down the middle for a strike. Thigh high. And it's 3-1. and one. Ortega more than likely will swing away if it's a strike. 3-1 pitch. And he swings and misses at a fastball. That one was on the outside corner. Belly high, and it's 3-2. and two. Well, a critical pitch here for Fort Morgan. Ortega waits the 3-2. Here it is. Down and away with a fastball. It's another walk. Second of the inning issued by Puccino. And the bases are loaded for Fajardo, who struck out his first time up. Now batting number seven, Connor Fajardo. Big at bat here for Connor. But again, second time around. You feel a little bit more comfortable. You've seen this pitcher. 64 pitches so far. And again, that pitch count is getting up there. And we're still only with one out in the fourth. The offering, very high and away. One ball and no strikes. A single by Hamer and walks to Jacob and Alex Ortega. Have the bases loaded. Fajardo awaits the 1-0. Up and away again, not even close. It's not following through. A lot of arm there, not enough legs, 2-0. And, and now Pacino might be thinking about it. No activity that I can see in the Roosevelt bullpen. Not even close again. Up and away. That is seven consecutive balls thrown by Puccino, and now he's getting further and further away from the strike zone. Or check that. It was a... That's just four consecutive. He did throw a strike to Ortega. And that pitch is high. It's a bases loaded walk on four pitches. Hamer scores. Fajardo with the RBI. And it's now three to one. Nick Beltran will be the courtesy runner at first for Fajardo. We'll have a visit to the hill as Austin Apple, who had a sharp grounder his first time up, will step in. And you want that same type of contact. Unfortunately, if he hits that again, that's going to be a double play because he hit it that well. We've had two sharp grounders to the shortstop already. And all Fort Morgan has done is be patient at the plate. And Pacino is going to have trouble making it out of this inning if he doesn't start throwing strikes. Three walks in the inning for the junior left-hander. And Apple again at 0 for 1. Will step in for Fort Morgan. A base hit away from drawing the Mustangs even. Now batting number two, Austin Apple. Yeah, he looked very dominant the first time around with five strikeouts over the first nine hitters, but Fort Morgan has now adjusted the second time around, and Puccino has not been as sharp, not even close to as sharp as he was in the first three innings. Runners take their leads the pitch. He grooves it over for a strike, took something off of that. That might have helped. Not trying to overthrow. No balls in one strike. Ortega. At third, that's Jacob at third, Alex at second, Nick Beltran at first, and the pitch. And that's down the middle for a strike. It's a beautiful fastball there. And now Apple's in an 0-2 hole. Boy, that was the pitch to hit. He's got to watch out now here for a high fastball or a breaking ball. And the offering, swung and a miss. He blew a fastball right by him on the inner half. And on three pitches, Austin Apple strikes out. Seven strikeout for Puccino. And there's two down. Nick Norris struck out looking his first time up. Well, it's going to take some two-out thunder to get the Mustangs 
Even closer, the pitch. Fastball is upstairs. That was pitch number 72 by Puccino. So at some point, you'd think they'll have to go to the bullpen. And the 1-0. That's up and away. Two balls and no strikes here to the right-handed hitting Nick Norris. Let's see if Coach Lankford has the take sign here for him. The stretch and the offering. That's right there for a strike. Down the middle, thigh high. Ball two, strike one to Nick Norris. A run across. The bases are loaded. Two outs in the fourth. Fort Morgan trails by a pair. The offering. Swung on in line down the left field line. That's a base hit. Jacob Ortega scores. Alex around third. The throw to the plate is going to be out by a mile as the tag is applied. And Alex Ortega is cut down. But it's an RBI single for Nick Norris. And the Mustangs draw to within one. Two runs on two hits. No errors. And two men left. To the bottom of the fourth we go. It is Roosevelt 3, Fort Morgan 2 on B106 and B106.com. 3-2 to two Roosevelt as we move to the bottom of the fourth inning. Nick Norris just stroked an RBI single, but... Uh, while Jacob Ortega scored, Alex Ortega was cut down at the plate on a perfect throw by Nick Wall. But quite frankly, as he was rounding third, Wall was already firing that ball. And it was going to be tough to make it in unless the throw was bad and the breaking ball's in the dirt. 8-9-1 and one for Roosevelt. Rocco Salvatore popped to center his first time up. Nick Castaneda delivers. Fouled at the plate. Ooh. Fajardo took that off the shoe, limping around a little bit. That certainly smarts one ball to one strike. As a catcher, your knees already take a little bit of a beating because of the position you're in. Just walking that off, it's one and one. To the first baseman for Roosevelt, three to two. The Mustangs have cut into the lead. Connor Fajardo did have a bases loaded walk to get Fort Morgan on the board. The wine and the pitch, and the breaking ball is off the plate and off the glove. Ball two, strike one. First Fort Morgan run of the game brought to you by Cargill Meat Solutions. They work with the community to make sure there are jobs for the members of the communities they're in. Cargill Meat Solutions. Two balls and one strike to the opening hitter here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Pitch to Salvatore. Curveball is a strike. What a beauty. Thigh high on the outer half. It's two and two. A lot of late life on that one. Froze Salvatore. And Castaneda delivers. Fastball is outside. Ball three. Strike two here to Salvatore. Two in the first, one in the third for Roosevelt. The Mustangs just countered with two in the fourth inning. And the three two. Up and in. It's a walk to the number eight hitter here to begin the bottom of the fourth inning. And that'll send up Nick Wall. Now batting left fielder, number 15, Nick Wall. For Castaneda, it's only his first walk. He has hit two batters, including one with the bases loaded. The only strikeout he registered was against this hitter, Wall. Short lead for Salvatore, maybe a step and a half. Throw back to first and back in standing. It doesn't look like a threat unless he stretches out that lead. Mustangs at double play depth. The stretch by Castaneda. And the offering. And that stays upstairs. One ball and no strikes. Mustangs have two games coming up later this week. Thursday on the road against Frederick and Friday at home against the Warriors. And then the schedule just gets tougher. You've still got Holy Family there with a couple of games home and away. 1-0. Swung on and fouled off the catcher Fajardo and off the umpire. And the count levels at one and one. Yeah, once Castaneda got through that first inning on in which he allowed three hits, he's a lot more in rhythm. Only two hits allowed since then. Yeah, he's got to readjust himself. He's going out of the windup there. He's going out. Yeah, he's got to step off. Yeah, he lost his head for a second there. One ball and one strike. Salvatore with a short lead at first. And a pitch to Wall. And a breaking ball. Whew, barely missed. That's a good pitch. 
Looked like it caught the corner, but it's ball two, strike one. That was a good-looking pitch by Castaneda. Might have to come in with a heater now. The offering. That is just outside with a fastball. Three and one. Watch out. You got the one, two, and three hitters coming up. This could get dangerous for Fort Morgan if you let the eight and nine hitters reach here in the bottom of the fourth inning with nobody out. Three, one pitch. Swung on pop foul and out of play. Behind the backstop, it's three and two. Mustangs were one and three going into the Hampton Inn Classic, then beat two ranked teams out of 3A and nearly beat a third. Defeating Sterling and LaHunta, losing to University. Payoff pitch is coming. Here it is. Ooh, down and in with a changeup that barely missed. And it's a walk, second straight walk as Nick Wall reaches. And now there's trouble for Fort Morgan here. Now batting center fielder number 11, Dylan Poley. Dylan Poley doubled and then hit a screamer that was caught or checked at a uh, grounder to uh, Ortega. Here comes Josh Langford discussing this situation. Roosevelt can sense that they're about to get at least a run back with first and second nobody out and one of their top hitters at the plate. In fact, of their five hits, the next two hitters have three of them, and Poley and Grimm's got a couple. And perhaps discussing small ball situations as well. That conversation is going to be broken up in just a second. Here comes the home plate umpire with walks to Rocco Salvatore and Nick Wall. Yeah, that, well, he's not breaking it up yet. Yeah, they got to break it up now. No mound visit limitation in high school ball. However, if you do have a second mound visit in the same inning, the pitcher has to be taken out. Let's see. Looks like we have a courtesy runner now at second for Salvatore. That would be Damian Corral. All right, so here is Dylan Poley, right-handed hitter. That's the other thing. Castaneda's been facing lefties, and he walked two righties. Apple's playing a step in front of the bag, but I'm sure Poli can bunt the pitch. Breaking ball's in the dirt. Bounces away. Fajardo now spots it up the third base side. A wild pitch, and runners at second and third. That's what's frustrating here. They might get these two runs back that Fort Morgan... Just tallied in the top of the fourth inning. Three to two. Roosevelt. Now the infield has to play in. They want to cut down any possibility of a run. The wind by Castaneda. The offering. Swung on. Grounded to the second baseman. Linker backs up. Looks to third. Throws to first for the out. All right. They accomplished that. Nobody advances. One down in the fourth inning. On the 4-3. Now, Sammy Grimm has two base hits. Left-handed hitter for Roosevelt. Wine in the pitch. Swung on and foul tipped into the glove of Fajardo. It's 0-1. Again, can Fort Morgan cut down a run or just keep those runners at bay? And the 0-1 offering. Swung on line, foul down the left field side. Went with a breaking ball there. Now do you have strikeout stuff or pop-up stuff? You're ahead 0-2. If you can get him to chase a fastball. Wine in the 0-2. Oh, he threw a high fastball, but boy, Castaneda slipped and it was very high. It's one ball and two strikes. Corral at third, Wall at second. One ball and two strikes. And the offering. Swung on and grounded a short. Ortega fields. Looks to third. Throws to first. Two down. All right. The runners remain where they were at originally. But now you got to get Tanner Shuffler. He popped the first and then reached on an air. And that was a critical air. 
in the third inning because that run ended up scoring. Now the infield is playing back with two down, still three to two, Roosevelt. Wine and pitch, breaking ball, swung on, grounded up the middle. The shortstop, Ortega, plays it off his glove, picked up by Linker. Trail runner tries to score and will. Two runs are going to score. And that's going to be a two-run single for Shuffler. Ortega got a glove on it, but then Nick Wall rounded third. He's got massive speed, and he was able to cross home plate. And it's 5-2 to two Roosevelt. Oh, boy, that ball was hit perfectly on the ground right up the middle. A seeing-eye ground ball. And Roosevelt has gotten those two runs back. Here's Puccino. Yeah, that ball was headed to center field, and then... Ortega dove and got a glove on it. Then it was picked up by Linker, but by the time he picked it up and tried to nail the runner at the plate, he was already sliding in, and the pitch is away. A grounder to first and a single to center for Puccino. He's one for two. Both teams have tallied two runs in the fourth inning. The stretch and the offering. Swing and a miss and a breaking ball in the dirt. It's one and one. Straight up at 5 o'clock, you are listening to Morgan County's B106. This is KPRB, Brush, Fort Morgan. I'm John Beltran. And the 1-1 offering swung on and chopped to the right side. The first baseman, Norris, steps to the bag for the out. And that will end the bottom of the fourth inning. However, Roosevelt picks up two runs on one hit. No errors and a man left. Four complete. The score, Roosevelt 5, Fort Morgan 2, on B106 and B106.com. The Roosevelt Rough Riders scored two runs in the bottom of the fourth inning, started by the eight and nine hitters. Well, the Mustangs have their eight and nine coming up here against the left-hander Dominic Puccino, who hopefully is running out of pitches. He's thrown 75 in the game. He had a very good strike-to-ball ratio, but then got wild in the fourth inning, including a bases-loaded walk, 44 strikes, 31 balls. He struck out seven. It'll be Sam Shaver, Dylan Woods, and J.P. Hamer in the fifth for Fort Morgan. Hopefully a lot more. And the pitch. Fastball is upstairs. One ball and no strikes. Five runs on six hits for Roosevelt. Two runs on two hits for Fort Morgan. The Mustangs have committed the game's only air. The Mustangs have stranded two. Roosevelt has left five on base. Swung on and popped up on the right side along the line. The second baseman, Tage Long, will make the catch in fair territory. Several steps out into the grass. There's one down. One down for Dylan Woods. He grounded to the third baseman, Saya, his first time up. Now batting number nine, Dylan Woods. And that's what Puccino wants, knowing that his pitch count was high in the fourth inning. He wants quick outs here in the fifth. Fastball is upstairs. Just above belt level, it's 1-0. If you can get him to at least 85 to 90 pitches by the end of this inning, you got a shot to get him out by the 6th or 7th. The pitch, that's low with a fastball. Two balls and no strikes. To the 9-hitter, Dylan Woods. Colorado Plains Medical Center has experienced physicians and a highly trained surgical team trained in the latest surgical procedures. Explore what procedures are possible in your hometown. Colorado Plains Medical Center chopped foul up the third base side. That fastball was down in the zone. Two balls and one strike on pitch number 80 from the left-hander, the junior Dominic Puccino. Laying down the sign is Shuffler. The offering upstairs went with another heater. Three and one. Part of the trouble Puccino got into was a couple of walks, and that's a fastball for a strike on the inside corner at the knees. Good take there by Woods. Can't do much with that pitch. Three and two. Choking up with the bat. The pitch. Swing and a miss and a fastball that would have been ball four. It was way outside. Strikeout number eight for Puccino. Here's Hamer who struck out swinging. And then lined a single to left. Number 10, J.P. Hammer. He has one of the two Mustang hits. With the bases empty, the pitch. 
And the fastball down and in. To Hamer, one ball and no strikes. The offering swung on. That ball is lifted into right center field. Who's going to call for it? The two outfielders converge, and it is caught by the center fielder, Dylan Poley, in the right center field gap. And it's a 1-2-3 inning for Dominic Puccino. Four and one-half innings of high school baseball have been played in Johnstown. Roosevelt 5, Fort Morgan 2. It's a 60-second break on B106 and B106.com. Nick Castaneda begins his fifth inning of work. For the Mustangs trailing the Roosevelt Rough Riders, ranked third in 4A, 5-2. to two. Boy, a critical two-run single there. By Tanner Shuffler, extended the lead. Here's Braden Saya, the pitch. Breaking ball bounces to the screen. Saya singled and scored in the first and then was hit by a pitch. That was the first, I believe. I don't know if that was the first of back-to-back -back hit by pitches. I believe it was. And he 1-0. Swung on and chopped foul down the third base side. Yeah, let's see. Castaneda has... Yep. Hit the two batters, including the on-deck hitter, Brady Blondo, with the bases loaded. And he won one. Swung on and foul tipped into the glove of Fajardo. Nice heat there by Castaneda. It's one and two. Not the best strike to ball ratio. 35 strikes, 27 balls, but he's pitching into the fifth inning against a very good baseball team. Swung on and lifted into foul territory. Right side, Norris gives chase. <laughs> he tried to almost leap over the fence, and it's out of play. Remains at one and two. Another excellent pitch thrown by the right-hander Castaneda. Again, the Brush Bee Diggers on 10-10 and KSIR.com taking on the Eaton Reds. That's a good ball game going on. Wind and pitch. Swung on and popped up on the breaking ball into shallow center field. J.P. Hamer makes the two-handed grab, and there's one down in the bottom of the fifth inning. That'll bring up Brady Blondo. Now batting, DH, Prior Brady to his hit by Blondo. pitch with the bases loaded, he grounded to first. Well, Nick really had his struggles in relief against Brush, but commend him today. Had a couple of issues here and there, but he's thrown well over four and a third innings. Wine and offering. Swung on, grounded right side, and inside the right field line. And it drifts into foul territory, giving chase over there. And chasing the ball down is Alex Ortega. Around second is Blondo. Now to third. The throw, the tag by Apple. And out oh, at third base. That went 9-4-5. to four to five, And that's the second time the Mustangs have cut down a runner at the base pass. And there's two down. So it scored a double for Blondo. But that's what happens when you hit the cutoff. Now batting second baseman, number five, Cage Long. And that's what Ortega did with Linker. And then he threw a strike there to Apple. Here's Tage Long, who's 0 for 2. The pitch, and it rides on the inside corner for a strike. So and one. Fly to first and a liner to right center. And the breaking ball bounces in. Count levels at one ball and one strike. For Roosevelt, that was their seventh hit of the game. And long awaits the pitch. Swung on and driven in the air down the right field line. Ortega along the line to his left makes the catch. And it turns into an inning in which Nick Castaneda faces the minimum, even though he allowed a hit. And the bases were left empty. We head to the sixth in one minute. Roosevelt five, Fort Morgan two. On Morgan County's B106 and B106.com. This could be Fort Morgan's best shot as we head to the sixth inning. The Mustangs trail Roosevelt 5-2 to two in Johnstown, 2-3-4. Two, and four. Jacob Ortega, Isaac Linker, and Alex Ortega. The pitch for the left-hander Puccino's a fastball up and away. That was pitch number 86. You're allotted 110 as a maximum. 
One ball and no strikes in the offering. That is a strike on the outside corner at the knees. And the count levels at one and one. That was certainly a pitcher's pitch. Tough to hit. Ortega is 0 for 1. A strike out and a walk. The offering outside with a heater. Two and one. Puccino has only had one inning where he was wild. He's got eight strikeouts in the game as Ortega steps out. When he walked two hitters, including one with the bases loaded. Two balls and one strike. Ortega awaits, and he takes it outside just off the plate. Puccino thought he might have had a strike, but that was definitely ball three. Three and one. The pitch swung on and grounded for a base hit into left field beyond the diving Braden Saya. And that's hit number three for Fort Morgan as Jacob Ortega initiates what hopefully will be a rally here in the sixth inning. Isaac Linker has struck out twice, once swinging, once looking on a breaking ball. But his second plate appearance was better than his first. Struck out on three pitches first time up. Ortega with a very short lead against the left-hander of the pitch. Up and away with a fastball. One ball and no strikes. Yeah, Roosevelt's going to have activity. I would think got to have activity in the left field bullpen. With Pochino up to 91 pitches and nobody out of the sixth inning. The offering. And that is a strike. Oh, no, a balk. Check that. A balk. It would have been called a strike, but Ortega to second. Puccino did not come to a set. And it remains at 1-0 here to Isaac Linker. Well, that eliminates the double play possibility. It makes it a lot easier for Fort Morgan. And the 1-0. Swing and a miss and a fastball. Letter high. 1-1. I think Coach Lankford wants Linker to swing at something below the hands. That was above the hands. Looking back in the 1-1 pitch, down and away with a fastball. Nicely framed by Shuffler, but it was definitely off the plate. And this home plate umpire has been very, very consistent, very good today. 2-1. and one. The offering, and that's in the dirt. Check swing, no swing there by Linker. Three balls and one strike, and the tying run is on deck. But Linker's got a reach here. Shuffler lays down the sign. 3-1 pitch. Swung on and fouled off to the right and out of play. That fastball was down the middle, knee level. And Isaac got a piece of it. Got to watch out for anything now. Shorten up that swing. Because he struck out on a breaking ball his last time up and froze Linker. 3-2. Puccino looks back and comes home. Breaking ball is chopped right back to the mound. Puccino will look at third. Ortega goes over there. Throw the first in time. And the out is recorded. Randy Getman thought that the first baseman, Salvatore, was off the bag. He claims he was off the bag. They might check with a home plate umpire. Let's see what the call is here. And it will remain an out. But the Mustangs get the runner to third. Now batting number 19, Alex Ortega. Here's Alex Ortega, grounded out and walked. That was a big critical curveball there thrown by Puccino. If not, the Mustangs could have had two on and nobody out. But he recorded the out on the breaking ball. Out of the stretch with a man at third and one down. Trailing by three is Fort Morgan in the sixth inning. The offering. Swag and a miss. A fastball on the inner half at so and one. Whew. That's one of the best fastballs Puccino's thrown in the entire game. He still has plenty left in the tank, even though he's running out of pitches. That was pitch number 97. The stretch and the offering inside with a fastball. Ball one, strike one. One out, one on. In the sixth inning. The stretch and the offering. Swung on, grounded for a base hit into left field. Here comes Jacob Ortega, his right foot steps on home plate. Alex Ortega delivers. And the Mustangs draw to within two. It's 5-3 to three in the sixth inning. 
And we might have a pitching change as Fort Morgan picks up their second hit of the inning in the fourth of the game. Connor Fajardo about to step in. Pacino's thrown 99 pitches, and we will have a pitching change. It's a two-minute break. Back in two minutes. Roosevelt 5, Fort Morgan 3. We're in the sixth inning on Morgan County's B106 and B106.com. Right-hander Ethan Eldridge is the new pitcher for Roosevelt. The starter, Dominic Puccino, goes over to first base, replacing Rocco Salvatore. One on, one out, one in for Fort Morgan. 5-3 to three Roosevelt in the sixth inning, the pitch. And it's in the dirt. Might have had some tailing action on that. One ball and no strikes. Fajardo has struck out and walked. And his walk drove in a run. Or in the top of the sixth inning, the Mustangs to within two. And the pitch. That's a strike with a fastball at the knees down the middle. And the count levels at one ball and one strike. To the right-handed hitting senior catcher, Connor Fajardo. A run in this inning already. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Boy, threw a mighty fastball in the outer half by Fajardo. It's one and two. Mustangs did tally two runs in the fourth. Roosevelt at two in the first, one in the third, and two in the fourth as well. One ball and two strikes. Fajardo awaits the pitch. Here it is. Called strike three. Right there, and Fajardo knew it. Down the middle, just above the knees. Strikeout number nine for Roosevelt pitching, and there's two down. Austin Apple is grounded a short and struck out. He is 0 for 2. He is the tying run at the plate. The pitch. That's a fastball for a strike. Outside corner, knee high. It's 0-1. Aldridge, not a big kid at all. Doesn't look very tall, but he's using a lot of his lower body to throw these strikes. Swung on a chop slowly on the left side. The pitcher off the mound. Yields to the third baseman. No play. Saya had no play. I thought Eldridge could have made one, but it was Saya coming in. He might have called his pitcher off. It's an infield hit for Austin Apple. And all of a sudden... First and second with two down. And Nick Norris, who homered in his last game against University and has struck out and singled in this game, driving in a run, is the go-ahead run. The pitch swung on and lifted into deep center field. That one's got some carry to it. Shy of the track to the fence, and the catch is made. Just a few feet shy of the fence by Dylan Poley. And Roosevelt escapes what could have been a Mustang lead here in the sixth inning on the long fly ball hit by Nick Norris. Boy, he got a big hold of that one, but it just fell shy of the fence. The Mustangs in the frame with a run on three hits. No errors and two men left. We head to the bottom of the sixth inning. It's Roosevelt five, Fort Morgan three, a 60-second break on B106 and B106.com. The Mustangs have a new pitcher, Jacob Ortega. In the bottom of the sixth inning, Roosevelt leads 5-3. to three. Isaac Linker to short. Nick Beltran is now the second baseman. Mustangs tally to run in the top of the sixth inning. And Nick Norris got a little bit more. He hit that ball probably about 340 feet, 350 straight away. Mustangs could have the lead. Ortega 2-1, and one, a 6-4-3 ERA. He's had two very good starts, one against Vista Peak, the other against Sterling. It was that rough start against Windsor that has that ERA elevated. Ethan Eldridge will hit for Roosevelt. It's 8-9-1 in the bottom of the sixth inning. And Fort Morgan calling on their number one pitcher to throw one inning in this bottom of the six and keep this at a 5-3 game. The wine and offering and the fastballs on the outside corner for a strike. It is 0-1. Let's see if we got any numbers on Eldridge. And the offering. Swing and a mess and a sharp breaking ball. It's 0-2. Eldridge hitting 500 but only two at-bats. He's got a base hit and three RBIs. Must have been that three-run double. 
The offering outside with a curveball. Ball one, strike two to Ethan Eldridge. Again, no lights on this field, and the sun has not been out the entire game, but clear skies. Breaking ball away. Two and two. This game is just shy of an hour and a half, so it's moving along quickly. We started a few minutes before 4 o'clock. The pitch, that is a call strike three fastball outer half at the knees. And Ortega strikes out the first hitter he faces. Close the book on Nick Castaneda, the starter, who did a very credible job for Fort Morgan. Five innings, 68 pitches, 40 strikes, 28 balls, gave up five runs, four earned. One strikeout, two walks, two hit batsmen, allowed seven hits in the pitch. That is just a way, I guess, to Nick Wall. Struck out and walked and scored a run. He's 0 for 1. Ortega delivers, and he's short on that breaking ball, down and away in the dirt. Two balls and no strikes. Jacob delivers. Swung on, grounded to left field for a base hit. Right in between the shortstop linker and the third baseman, Apple. It's a one-out base hit for Nick Wall. Here's the dangerous Dylan Poley, who doubled into the right center field gap. Grounded to short and then grounded to second. He is one for three. Mustangs at double play depth. Here's the stretch by Ortega. And the pitch. Swung on, grounded up the middle. The shortstop linker will drop the ball, and it's going to be an error. I think he tried to flip it to Beltran before he had it in his glove. He botched it out there. Second error committed by Fort Morgan, and a lot of speed there for Dylan Poley. I'm not sure they would have got him, but definitely you get an easy force, and he was only about three feet to the right of the bag. It would have been an easy flip. Yep, never had it played it off the look like it got a good portion of the glove. Here's Sammy Grimm, who is two for three. Looking back as Ortega the pitch. And the breaking ball stays high. Again, they took advantage of the first air on Fort Morgan and scored a run. Ortega comes home. Swung on and fouled off to the left, and the count goes to one and one. And it's also difficult when you've been playing one position the entire game. Even the linkers played lots of short, but then you take it for the first time. You haven't been taking ground balls there the entire game. 1-1 one, one pitch. Swung on and grounded right side. The second baseman, Beltran, has to charge. Sidearms to first for the out. As retired as Sammy Grimm, the runners advance to second and third. And that'll send up Tanner Shuffler. How about him? catcher number seven, Tanner Shuffler. Well, Shuffer was a key hitter two innings ago. It was 3-2, to two, Roosevelt, second and third. He had a grounder up the middle that Ortega dove for, played off his glove. Linker picked it up as the second. The trail runner tried to score, and he did, and it was a two-run single. The pitch and the breaking ball is down and away. Prior to that, Shuffer popped out and reached on an air, so he's been on base twice. He's one for three officially. Out of the windup, second and third, two down the offering. Swung on and grounded up the middle, and that's headed for center field. A base hit, one run is in. Poley around third, and Poley's going to score. Cut off by Norris, and Shuffler's done it again. Another two-run single, and he's extended the lead to 7-3 to three in the bottom of the sixth inning. He hit the ball in the same exact area, but this one had a little bit more of a tail to it in the middle of the field, so even when Linker dove, couldn't make the play. That's a clean base hit. Pitch to Puccino. Swung on and driven into the right center field gap. That is trouble. J.P. Hamer gives chase. Fields it on a hop. Puccino stays at first. And a third is Shuffler with a base hit for Puccino. He is now two for four in the game, and the inning continues for Roosevelt. For Braden Saya who has singled, been hit by a pitch, and popped out. Now batting third baseman, number one, Braden Saya. But again, that's why you cannot commit errors against Roosevelt. They've taken advantage of the two that Fort Morgan has committed. 
And that's one of the differences in this game. Besides the fact Roosevelt has 10 hits and Fort Morgan has 5. First and third. Shuffler at third. Puccino at first. The pitch swung on and popped foul out of play on the slow curve. No balls and one strike. Well, now Jacob trying to keep it at 7-3, to three, but, boy, that changes the game completely. Two two-out singles, one in the fourth, one in the sixth by Shuffler. Swung on, fouled off to the right. A late swing on that fastball. It's 0-2. And two-out hitting is so clutch. Boy, just two pitches this game could have changed. The Nick Norris fly to deep center, which was almost a three-run homer. And then that base at the pitch. Outside with a fastball. Ball one, strike two. Two strikes, two outs, two across, and a four-run lead for Roosevelt. In the bottom half of the sixth inning. And the pitch. Outside with a curve. It's two and two to Saya. Well, you wanted Fort Morgan to have a legitimate shot, which they still have in the seventh, but down by four on the road is very difficult. The pitch swung on and driven foul down the left side on a fastball that was on the inner half. Stays at two balls and two strikes to the Roosevelt third baseman. Runners take their leads. Ortega comes home. Curveball. Boy, must have been a little bit high. Barely missed. Three and two, and the left handed hitting Brady Blondo is on deck. And barely missed. Puccino will take off with a pitch from first. And Saya calls time, so if the Mustangs make a play here, it's going to have to be to first base. Three and two. To Braden Saya. And the offering. Low. It's a walk and the bases are loaded for Blondo. And if Roosevelt scores more, this is going to look like a game that was non-competitive. And I hate that. Because this is, game's been close the whole way. Mustangs have been one hit away from taking the lead. As they were just half an inning ago. Well... See, we get this guy, a ground out of hit by pitch, and then a double. He was thrown out at third, swung on and popped foul and out of play over the Roosevelt dugout on the third base side at 2-1. Shuffler at third, Puccino at second, Sai at first. 7-3 to three Roosevelt in the bottom of the sixth inning in Johnstown. These two teams will hook up again two weeks from today in Fort Morgan. The Mustangs hope for a different result unless they can rally here in the seventh once we get there. The wine and offering. Fastball is up and away. And the count levels at one and one. Roosevelt has scored in four of the first six innings. They were held scoreless in the second and the fifth, and that's it. The pitch swung on and fouled on the slow breaking ball up the right side. It's one and two. To Brady Blondo. Ortega one pitch away from preventing a further mess. And the offering. Swung on and grounded up the middle of the shortstop. Linker's got it. And he will have to step on the bag. And in time. Beltran was playing towards the first base side and couldn't get there in time for the force. And Linker took care of it himself. And that ends... The sixth inning, that could have been dangerous, but Roosevelt is retired there to end the frame. However, they do score two runs. They get a clutch two-run single from Tanner Shuffler. We head to the seventh in one minute. Roosevelt seven, Fort Morgan three on B106 and B106.com. Let's move to the seventh inning. Roosevelt seven, Fort Morgan three. And the pitch to Sam Shaver is swung on and popped foul and out of play off to the right. Shaver grounded to second and then popped out to the right side. He's 0 for 2. Two runs on three hits with one air in that 
bottom of the sixth inning. A critical error as Roosevelt capitalized. And the right-hander delivers. Breaking ball is taken for a strike. Outside corner at the knees. It's 0-2. Ethan Eldridge has thrown just nine pitches, eight for strikes. 8-9-1 and one for Fort Morgan in the seventh. Here's the wind and the offering. Swung on and fouled off to the right on that fastball up in the zone. Shaver was hitting 286 coming into the game. Four Morgan does have five base hits. And the 0-2. Called strike three, fastball inside corner. Strikeout number nine for Roosevelt pitching. And there's one down in the seventh. And Dylan Woods, who's grounded a third and struck out, will be the batter for Fort Morgan. I mean, they did face tremendous pitching today. But the Mustangs have been right there, swinging a foul off the catcher's mask. No balls and one strike. Yeah, you'd much rather lose to good teams like this than win 10 nothing over those Colorado 7 lead teams. Fort Morgan had been playing for the last six seasons. It, it got unwatchable at times because it wasn't good baseball, and I don't think Fort Morgan was getting better, but they're going to get better off of these games. And Eldridge delivers the 0-1, and the curveball's a strike. Inner half of the plate, that was a beautiful pitch. It's 0-2. No balls and two strikes, one out, and the base is empty in the seventh. Roosevelt seven, Fort Morgan three, and the offering. Swung on and popped up into foul territory behind the plate. The catcher, Shuffler, has a beat on it and makes the grab for the out, and there's two down. Two down for J.P. Hamer, who is one for three. Struck out, singled, and popped to center. I don't believe the Mustangs have base hits from two different hitters today. The pitch. Fastball is low. Nope. Base hits have come from Hamer, Jacob Ortega, Alex Ortega, Austin Apple, and Nick Norris. One ball and no strikes. And the offering. And the curveball is low. That's a good take by Hamer. That looked like it was right over the plate, but it hooked low at the last second. 2-0. To the senior center fielder, J.P. Hamer. And the offering. And he swings and misses at a fastball away. It's 2-1. and one. That was a home run cut. Two balls and one strike. Eldridge has thrown 17 pitches. Only three of those are balls and two of those to Hamer. Now the 2-1. Curveball is right there. Down the middle for a strike just above the knees. It's 2-2. Two and two. Oh, Hamer's got to be ready for anything here. Laying down the sign is Shuffler. 2-2 pitch. Outside with a curveball. 3-2 and two with Jacob Ortega waiting to hit next. Hamer has stayed inside that batter's box the whole time. 3-2 pitch. Up and in with a fastball. He walks. He's on base for the second time in the game. And that'll give Jacob Ortega a chance to hit. He struck out. He's walked and he's singled. The Mustang runs in this game have been scored by J.P. Hamer, and Jacob Ortega scored twice. Jacob digs in from the right side, and the fastball is outside. One ball and no strikes. And if they could have gotten out of the bottom of the sixth inning, you'd have the tying run at the plate. That's why those two runs loom so large. For Roosevelt, and that fastball's a strike, outer half, thigh high, and the count levels at one and one to the junior Jacob Ortega. J.P. Hamer, I don't think going anywhere. He's got a lot of speed, though. Two step lead at first, the pitch. He is going, swung on and lifted a center. Poli is way back, still going back, has room, makes the catch, and Roosevelt wins the game seven to three. No runs on one hit, no errors, and a man left. Roosevelt 7, Fort Morgan 3. Let's take a two-minute break, and we'll wrap it up after this 
on Morgan County's B106 and B106.com. Fort Morgan Mustangs post game show brought to you by Morgan Community College. They're there to make your dreams become a reality for both traditional and non traditional students. Check them out, morgancc.edu, Morgan Community College. Roosevelt wins the game over Fort Morgan and Johnstown 7 to 3. For the Rough Riders, seven runs, ten hits, no errors. They left eight on base. The Mustangs picked up three runs in a game, and they were able to generate five hits, two errors, five left on base. The winning pitcher going into the sixth inning was Dominic Puccino. The loss goes to Nick Castaneda. Time of the game, one hour and 44 minutes, and Roosevelt was able to score a couple of runs in the first inning, and that's what got them going. They took a one nothing lead on a ground out by Puccino. Then Braden Saya with an RBI single made it 2 to nothing, And then a hit batsman with the bases loaded in the third inning made it 3 to nothing. But then the Mustangs would get on the board in the top of the fourth as Connor Fajardo was walked with the bases loaded. And then they also got an RBI single from Nick Norris. Alex Ortega tried to score in the play, would have tied the game, but he was cut down at home. It was 3 to 2. But then the difference maker really was Tanner Shuffler. In the bottom of the fourth inning, he had a two-out, two-run single. In the bottom of the sixth inning, a two-out, two-run single. And even though Fort Morgan would score a run in between all of that, 7-3 to the final score. Roosevelt 3-0 and in the Tri-Valley, 7-1 and overall. The Mustangs 0-3 in league play, 3-5 and on the season. But they played some pretty good competitive baseball so far. And I expect them to be in the win column sometime soon in a more consistent basis. Mustang Player of the Game brought to you by TransWest. They believe that customers are number one. Check out their selection online or just stop by one of their dealerships in Fort Morgan or Sterling today. That is TransWest. We're going to give it to Nick Castaneda. I mean, he pitched well enough. He won five innings for Fort Morgan. They were only down five to three at the time that he was removed from the hill. So Nick Castaneda with a nice outing for the Mustangs, the player of the game. Mustangs are back in action coming up on Thursday. They'll be in Frederick against the Warriors. We'll have that game at 4 o'clock right here on B106 and B106.com. Outstanding job by our two sound engineer and producers, Alicia Alton, and taking us from beginning to end, Herrick Curtis. I'm John Beltran. The final score in Johnstown, Roosevelt 7, Fort Morgan 3, right here on Morgan County's B106 and B106.com.